Nakatsugawa gets a lot of snow each winter. The community's two main festivals celebrate that fact. A snow festival in the winter. And another in the summer. Adam Fulford first went to Nakatsugawa in 2014 as a judge in a National Beautiful Village contest. It was immediately clear how hard people were working to keep the community going. The village won the top award in the contest and then asked Fulford to help them boost the number of foreign visitors. In the background was the reality that Nakatsugawa is struggling. As the population declines, visitors from both Japan and abroad are seen as a valuable way to stimulate the local economy. Fulford accepted the request and started to look for things that would interest first-time foreign visitors. He invited foreign friends in Tokyo to join him. The appeal of the local food was obvious. Fresh wild vegetables, delicious home cooking. Have you ever tried wild boar or bear stew? This farmhouse B&B &B is actually run by a bear hunter. He is as tough as they come. He once broke his leg in the mountains, then walked several hours back home. <laughs> These days, his wife entertains guests with her retelling of that tale. But all these stories are in Japanese. It's often tough for me to keep up when people speak in the local dialect, but tourists who speak no Japanese at all miss out on so much. Fulford breaks that language barrier with the training service for Japanese companies. As the domestic market shrinks, more companies, including many in travel, are eager to do business internationally. For that, they need employees who are comfortable communicating in English. Fulford trains those employees in Nakatsugawa. He organizes three-day weekends that are attended by corporate trainees and by foreign visitors. What actually happens? On day one, the trainees speak with villagers about life in Nakatsugawa. They learn about bear hunting, forestry, and other aspects of local culture. On day two, the trainees show the foreign visitors around in English. In Yamagata Prefecture, it snows there 250 centimeters in a average a year. This is very different from classroom study. It's communication in a real-life setting. Everyone gets to enjoy the summer snow festival. Some even go swimming in the local river. Summer fun in the Japanese countryside. This is something that visitors to Japan's more popular tourist locations generally don't experience. <laughs> the city-based corporate trainees make unexpected discoveries too. On day three, the visitors join local residents in cleaning up the snow festival site. It's only on the afternoon of day three that a classroom is used. By now, everyone is strongly motivated to think of new ways forward for the community. More removed communities can be hard to get to, so there could be a car sharing system to experience local life and see where our food comes from. On one of these weekends, Japanese corporate employees can learn a lot. <laughs> the foreign visitors experience aspects of Japan that otherwise they'd never encounter. Um, I've read a lot about these communities in Japan with the population decrease, so to actually see it in person was very memorable. And people in the village can interact with helpful visitors who are genuinely welcome. For me, villages across Japan are like an Amazon rainforest of cultural heritage. And that forest is disappearing as we speak. 
I'm hoping that people from all over the world will come and listen to these voices in the Japanese countryside before those voices fall silent.